What's up? Good morning, my people. Sorry it took so long to get back at you. I was missing an action. You could have put me on a milk carton. <laughs> but um, now we're out here in Santa Rosa right now. I had to take the trucks in to get fixed. So got a little bit of time to talk to you guys. It's beautiful out here today. Nice day to be walking around. So how's everybody doing? Come on for me, people. How do you guys feel about wearing these masks inside of stores? <laughs> She's trippy and never in my life did I think I would be walking in the store with a mask on. But times change and we gotta adapt to it like chameleons. So um, yeah, I've been pretty busy. Hope you guys are staying busy out there. Don't let this um little flu get you guys down, man. I know a lot of people are dying and shit, but don't let it get you down. Stay strong, stay healthy, drink water, work out, continue to live your life, don't abandon your people. But um it's a trip um, how people, um, sorry for saying um so much, sorry about that. But it's a trip how people freaking um, are finally realizing how being stuck in your room or stuck in your house can affect your mentality. Mentally, you know, if you're stuck in your room all day, people start getting stressed out. And that's how it is in the shoe and the whole programs. They got people in there for years at a time, stuck in one spot and people go crazy. I'm glad to see the people are finally realizing that maybe the prisons will understand a little better not to be slamming people down for so long. Maybe it'll be a little bit better on people's psyche. Because as you can see, even your kids will be affected. You gotta be outside, get some sunshine, do something, make life a little bit better. Because if not, man, you're gonna be hiding, you're gonna get yourself sick. Stay strong, make sure you guys are out there. I drink a lot of juice. I've been drinking a lot of juice, eating a lot of fruit. Fruit's the main thing. Stay healthy. Don't be eating no processed foods. I'm sorry about the traffic, but like I said, I only got a little bit of time to talk to you guys. I'll do a video pretty soon. I've been working out. Losing all that baby fat I got up in paradise. But I will do a video on that as well. And uh, we can talk about other stuff. How do you guys feel about the rides that were jumping off? It was pretty crazy because they were locking the streets down up here in the Bay Area. Like all the stores would be closed down by seven. So it's trippy. Certain stores. Yeah, we, I don't know, man. If you're gonna participate in that kind of stuff, do it right, please. Don't be hitting people or trying to cause fights and provoking the cops and shit. That's not what we're about, people. If we're gonna do something like that and use that type of, um, if you're gonna use that type of situation, use it in the right way. That way, if anything happens, you can win that case or you can win whatever you guys are fighting for because you can't just go do that for no reason. Just to start fights or something. Because remember, all lives matter. Every single one of us are all equal. We got a president who don't even like Mexicans. Come on now. All lives matter. Everybody should treat each other equal. We're all brothers and sisters. Love each other. Promote love, spread love. That's all we need, man. The more love you guys spread out in the communities, just like um, at work, you, you're cool with all your coworkers. It should be the same on the streets. All of us are brothers and sisters. If you see someone hungry, man, feed them. If, I, if someone asks me for food or money, I take them inside and I buy them something. Whether it's a beer or whatever, hey man, his body probably needs it. Give him his freaking beer. I got nothing wrong with that. I'll give him a couple bucks. We got to look out for each other, though, man. If we start um, abandoning each other as people, then that's when society breaks up as a whole. We don't need that. We should be strong, sticking together. The stronger we are, the better we are. Remember that, guys. No matter what race you are. We're, it's the people against politics. You got politicians who go out there and do shit for their own financial gains or their own needs or for their own political gain. They don't care how it affects society because they're in their rich houses on top of the mountains not giving a shit. So remember that. If you guys want to beat this shit and, and make it to where we have our laws that you like for yourselves personally, then you need to go vote. You guys can't sit at home and, and talk shit to the TV and be mad because shit gets passed that you don't like but you never went and voted against it. So if you guys want to make change, you got to help make change. Go vote. Go do what you gotta do as productive members of society, because if not, politicians are gonna keep walking on us, they're gonna keep taxing us, and keep doing what they want. 
Remember people, we got amendments, there's a constitution, we got rights. Remember that. That's why they don't like when we build up or people gather too much because they know once all kinds of heads get together, then hey, we can do what we want. If you don't like the government, we can shut that shit down. We gotta stand up as a whole. If you stay divided, that's why they got Democrats and Republicans and shit to keep us divided. They don't want us all as a whole. Cause if we were as a whole, then we do, we'd have a perfect society out here, man. There'd probably be no violence and shit. But they do that on purpose to keep us divided. So all everybody remember that vote. Remember, read what the laws are about, read what they're going to do, how they're going to affect us. That way we can vote against it or vote with it. Because a lot of shit be happening out here that shouldn't be happening. But, it, but a lot of people, a lot of smart people keep their mouth shut and it's not cool, man. Because um, i tired of getting walked on out here. I'm going to start voting. I, I've been out on May 28th, I've been out seven years, so my contracting license is in effect. I got to get my fingerprints. You and your boy's going to be a contractor. <laughs> got to get that money, guys. It's fun working for people, but it's better to work for yourself. Because then all that financial gain goes to you and your family. I can donate to the community. It's something I've always wanted to do. Look at those nice pots. Try not to ramble on, but there's a lot of stuff going on out here pretty crazy look at this it's so beautiful and I'm on the streets chilling instead of being in prison remember that guys that ain't no life sorry I haven't talked about that or did any prison stories but I've just been out here learning the more I learn in these trees the better I'm gonna get a GoPro so I can show you guys what it's like to be up there that way you guys can see what I do for work and then I have another video it's a horrible video about what broke me. Never been broke in my life, brothers. I've been in a shoe, caught murder sentences, caught stabbings. I've never been broke. But, man, I got out, got with the girl. <sighs> Maybe after what, seven, almost seven and a half years we began to, we've been together and shit, and um, it's finally over. And when she told me it was over, it was probably the worst feeling I ever broke my heart. I never found nothing like that in my life. And I've never cried over nothing and shit, but it shattered me. I'm not trying to be a pussy to you guys, but be careful in the relationships, man. Once you give yourself up and open up your heart to somebody and then they break it, there's no going back, man. There's no going back. And that's just a little something that's been going on with me. My fuck, been depressed and stressed out and don't want it to get to me, so I just stay, to, I stay at work, stay busy. Maybe you guys can uh, give me some suggestions to stay busy. Try to keep my heart mended. I'm telling you, man. 120 pound girl broke me. It made me cry. I had to go run to my mama. <laughs> mama, she hurt me. Broke my heart. Besides that though, man. Whew, watch out for the chicks. They're, they're vicious so beautiful when you meet them but then when they turn on you and they get evil so you guys help me out help me help mend me guys but i'll talk to you later we're about to get the our one of our co-workers is coming to pick us up so and let's cut this short well we got nine minutes in so that's good Keep, give you guys a little something hear my stupid voice Huh? I'm talking to the people. Look at, look at that Caesar. Come here. Say hello. Hi. Yeah, so, what was your first impression of me when you met me? You were, who are you talking to? It's YouTube. The world. That's my boy right there, Young Seas. This is live. The bunky is live. I don't believe it. It is. It's filming. Well, so what was your first impression of me? Am I a loser? Am I dumb? Nah. How would you feel? I told him to... Am I like a book where you think you could judge me? And then I, thought, like, oh, he, I thought he was a book and then I told him to read the morning uh, meeting paper and he's very literate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nah, he's straight up OG. We be out here chilling. We're just waiting for a ride right now. Gotta get it. I'm gonna go cut some trees. Me and him crushed it yesterday at the end of the day. Oh, we gotta get the caffeine. No, he didn't. He's lying. We both messed up. No, we didn't. It's just because we never get to climb that much because we got to talk all the time. 
the community needs to be talked to. And you gotta have legit people with public relations skills. Like this. Ooh, oh. And don't smoke. Don't smoke, kids. Do not smoke, because then you look like me. I aged like 20 years smoking on that weed. I'm just playing. I don't do that. Life's too short. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. We'll do another film on how to watch out for women because they break your hearts. <laughs> Look at him. He knows. No, they don't. Uh, I was telling him, I've been through some shit, bro. Never in my life have I ever been hurt or fucking broken down until a chick got me. Is it true, though? Been through some shit. Homeboy's a fucking military man. Two, served two times. Give him his claps. Shot that. That's the homie. Veteran. But as he knows, he been through some shit. And what broke you the worst? A female. Women. Women. Both of us savages. Mm -hmm. Crying over a woman. Nah, I didn't cry. Willie cried. She made me cry. And I told my mom. <laughs> Legit. Mama, she hurt me. I drowned it out with whiskey. I drowned it out with weed. Yeah, but just so you guys know, man, chicks are crazy. We'll holla.